Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the Community Credit Union Arena at the Rath East Link Community Center for tonight's Maritime Hockey League contest between the hometown Truro Bearcats and the visiting South Shore Lumberjacks. James Faulkner with you here tonight. Thanks for tuning in on Hockey TV for the broadcast alongside Noah Poirier. Bearcats coming off a loss last night, 3-2 to two at the hands of the Yarmouth Mariners. Sitting in fifth place in the East Link South, 15, 15, 3, and 4. Five points back of Picto in fourth place and six points back of both Amherst and the so short lumber. Julian trying to send it off the boards. Turn over to Gendanov. Gendanov in and scores. Gendanov just puts that one glove side on Alec McDonald. 13.46 to go here in the first. And the Jacks are on top. One to nothing. The puck. Back to McGovern. Shot on net. Nice tip right in front by Blackwell. And Grant makes a great. Able to keep the pad down and make that save. Now Hart in the slot. Takes a shot off the post. And in, took a shot, save was made on the rebound. Puck is right at the goal line. And getting shut down and pokes it away. O'Neill back to work. Pass over, Sabian right in front and scores. Tic-tac-toe passing right in front of the net. And an easy tap-in goal. Just kept that one onside. Take the shot, now it comes in and scores over to that far side and Smallwood rips the goal home now a 3-0 lead for the Lumberjacks thrown on net tip and scores Gates just threw it on net and Gendanov with the beautiful deflection in front no chance for Alec McDonald puck goes just inside the post now a 4-0 lead for the Lumberjacks down low tried another pass in front Sabian with a shot and McDonald able to slide over Tim Gates, it's a loose shot from Smallwood off the post. Puck still rolling towards the net. Another chance in front. McDonald kicks that one out. Coffey with another opportunity. McDonald's ability here. Imbo cutting in on goal and scores. Jason Imbo works his way in and able to slide that one through Grant. 14:32 to go here in the third. The Bearcats are on the board. It's 4-1. She gets it over to Blackwell. Four Bearcats are away. It's a four on two. Blackwell in. Pass over. Shot comes in and scores. Ben Higgins finishes off the pass from Blackwell. And two quick goals. The Bearcats trail 4-2. Gendanov has two goals tonight. Trying to work his way in. Gendanov cutting it on goal. And what a save. Shorthanded here. Sabian coming in on him. Imbo over. Takes a shot and scores. Jason Imbo top shelf. His second goal of the night. This one coming 28 seconds into the Lumberjacks power play. Ben Higgins closing in on goal. Higgins pass over for the Ray and the save is made. It's return feed. That shot was blocked. Front by McMillan. Penalty Boucher just about over. Pass by Coffey and scores. Coffey able to slide it home just before the penalty to Boucher expires. So they get the goal, and they'll still be on the power play for a minute and 43 seconds. Take a shot, gets it to Evans, now to Higgins. Higgins working his way in. Lorraine in front, and scores! No idea who flipped that in. I think it was Lorraine who was swatting at it. Either way, the Bearcats cut it back to a one-goal lead. Imbo tried to get it ahead. For Blackwell, circling around, time ticking away on the Bearcats here. Spencer Blackwell comes in, takes a shot, and scores! Spencer Blackwell rips the shot past Ty Grant with 19.3 seconds left. We are tied at five. Unbelievable. Spencer Blackwell just comes down. That's five goals this period for the Bearcats. An incredible comeback. And somehow, we are heading to overtime. Heffernan. Waiting. Blackwell takes a shot. That one off the cross. Waiting. Dishes down low. Wants the feed in front. Flips it over. That one off the post. Blackwell. Waiting. Pass over. Evans down low. Shot. It scores! The Bearcats come all the way back from 4 nothing down to defeat so sure 6-5 in overtime. I've never seen anything like that. That was an incredible comeback. Big players in big games. Ben Higgins, the heartbreaker celebration to win it in overtime. And the Bearcats with a much needed two points here on home ice. 